Hey guys, it's Dubai Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple once again releasing yet another beta for iOS 14.5. Today releasing iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 7. And yes, I'm pretty sure you guys are ready for the Gold Master copy or the release candidate, the RC. Apple has yet to deliver that here for developers and or public beta testers. Of course, in this video, we're gonna go over a few details about the latest releases coming from Apple. The latest beta coming in at approximately right there, 150 three megabytes depending on your device and the beta that you're updating from this could vary this is iphone 12 running from beta 6 to beta 7 and there it is it was released just today let's go ahead and take a quick look here at the build number and i have to say this has been a long beta cycle for ios 14.5 there's a lot riding on this software there's a lot of new features even products that are rumored to be coming alongside this software but there it is 18 e 5198 a yet another a towards the end of the build number apple continues to test the software minor tweakings and changes there's something interesting that happened over the weekend apple updated right there the apple music for artist icon with more depth so matching sort of the actual itunes connect or app store connect icon as well i'm not sure if this means that apple will be transitioning to a new look for iOS 15 icons, or if this is just something that they're doing for uh, their additional applications for you know musicians and also developers, but something interesting there to note, Apple has changed those icons around. Now, of course, with iOS 14.5, Apple also released the iOS 14.5 beta 7, iPad OS 14.5 beta 7 for iPad, Watch OS 7.4 beta 7 is out as well, and of course, tvOS, 14.5 beta 7 has just been released. So Apple has made some interesting changes over the past several days. Now Apple is rumored to be launching here the items tab or the items network, which is rumored to be working alongside third party vendors to uh, enable this feature into the find my network of devices. For example, a third party headphone manufacturer can build this into their products. And you can find these products within the find my network. You can add them into this particular portion of the find my application. And Apple has updated their actual newsroom application or their newsroom website here. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the newsroom. Apple today, right there it is, April 7. Apple's Find My Network now offers new third-party finding experiences. And this, of course, as I mentioned, will enable a whole new world of possibilities to find your devices, find other things like maybe a backpack, some luggage, some keys that may be tagged. And of course, this is all tied to Apple's rumored uh, AirTags, which are soon hopefully to be released alongside iOS 14.5. Apple talks about everything here that you can add, that you can find, how everything works once you go ahead and pair a device. By the way, you can see there that there's headphones linked to this uh, particular article here that look very much like AirPods Max, but I can't pair my AirPods Max just yet. I've tried to pair the AirPods Max, but it doesn't seem to be working. It looks like third-party manufacturers, as you can see there, can build this into their headphones. You can send notifications when it's found, pair to lock, also add a number and a message to that particular item. So if someone else finds it, you have two options, obviously, here in the Find My Network, you have uh, identify a found item. So if you find somebody else's item, you can actually see if there's a message attached to it, a phone number where you can contact the owner, or, and of course, you can also add your own Owned items and as I mentioned this is all being tied together to Apple's find my network alongside air tags which are rumored to be coming here shortly as well but just a quick look here at the newsroom if you want to read everything about this links will be in the description down below of course this is coming directly from Apple there it is a third-party finding experience which enables a whole world of possibilities to find all of your items and I'm gonna be using this a lot for my keys of course and uh, obviously other third-party headphones will definitely want to take advantage of this as well so a lot happening here Apple continues to test iOS 14.5 which is still in beta stages a long beta cycle at this point I really thought this software would be out to the public there's just a lot happening here again no release candidate as of yet just keep in mind Apple continues to build upon the find my network which is one of the biggest features coming here there's also a new application coming uh, for third-party vendors where they can manage these items before they get released to the general public how they'll behave how everything will work and all that so just a lot going on in the background here with beta testing with actual 
products being tested in the background, the Find My Network and everything. Uh, in terms of expected release date for iOS 14.5, at this point, it looks like this software could be releasing any minute now in the next week or so. I mean, it's been so long since Apple has been testing the software. I just think Apple is getting developers ready with the new app privacy uh, feature, which is coming here shortly. Apple can't just really launch the software if the apps and third-party apps are not there just yet. So I think Apple is working with developers to get these features up and running before 14.5 is released and the new products that we're expecting alongside the Find My Network. It's a lot to take in. Apple is changing a lot happening here from icons to the Find My Network to announcements. So just stay tuned here to the channel. My follow-up video on iOS 14.5 Beta 7 should hit the channel in the next couple of days. Make sure to subscribe to stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.